In problem number 35 of section 3.8, we're asked to find the centroid of a region that's um, between, uh, that's the region bounded by the graphs of two semicircles, one of radius 3 and one of radius 8, and the two lines x equals minus 3 and x equals positive 3. Now, in one or two problems ago, we were shown that uh, formula for the x coordinate of, um, of the centroid of some region with constant density is the integral from a to b uh, time, or 1 over a, I should say, where a is the area, times the integral from a to b of x times f of x minus uh, g of x. So in this problem, this translates uh, to uh, 1 over a times the integral from, now we want to integrate from negative 3 to positive 3. And we have x times f of x, which is square root of 64 minus x squared. And let's actually split this into two integrals. So this is then minus 1 over a times the integral from negative 3 to positive 3 of x times the square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, the first integral we can um, use u substitution. We let u equal uh, 64 minus x squared and du is equal to minus 2x and or minus 2x dx and dx is equal to minus 1 half du. So this then becomes the integral from, let's see, say x equals minus 3 to x equals 3 of, um, let's see, we have x dx is now du and then the square root of u. And we're subtracting the integral from 1 of uh, 1 over a times, well, here we, again we have x dx. Well, we need to change this a little bit. So for the substitution in the second problem, let's let v equal 9 minus x squared. Then dv is, again, minus 2x dx. And similarly, we get the x dx, or the dx, um, x dx is equal to minus 1 half dv. So in the second integral, we get well, x dx, that's dv. We have square root of v. So this is then, let's see, 1 over a times, this is u to the 1 half. So raise the power, uh, raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. So we have 2 thirds um, u to the 3 halves. And we're evaluating this from Ne uh, x equals negative 3 to 3, so this is actually 64. Let's see. So if x is equal to 3, then negative 3, then u is equal to uh, 64 minus 9, which is uh, 55. But if we evaluate that at x equals 3, it's the same thing. So this whole term is actually just going to go to 0. And if we go ahead and change the limits in the second integral to u, uh, or in, to the limits in terms of u, we get pretty much the same thing, only now we have 9 minus 9. Uh, so 0 is the lower limit, and 9 minus positive 3 squared, which is also 0. So second, terms go, second term goes to 0, and we see that the x-coordinate of the centroid is just equal to 0.
And this makes sense if you look at um, if you look at the graph of the region that we're trying to find the centroid of. Um, so we're looking at the area bounded by semi upper semicircle of radius eight and the upper semicircle of radius three. So this isn't quite to scale, but um, so bounded between these two graphs and the lines x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 3. So if you imagine trying to balance um, this region, uh, you see the x-coordinate of you know, what we would imagine as a centroid is probably just x equals 0 because there's just as much in the right uh, area on the right-hand side as the left-hand side, and here the density is constant. Right. But s same thing is not going to be true for uh, the y-coordinate. So for the y-coordinate, uh, we'll have, again, by the last problem, the formula is uh, 1 over 2a times the integral from negative 3 to 3 of, let's see, f squared of x minus g squared of x dx. So f squared is just 64 minus x squared. And g squared is 9 minus x squared. So this is equal to 1 over 2a times the integral from negative 3 to 3 of, well, 64 minus 9 is 55. And we have negative x squared plus x squared that goes to 0. And this is 1 over 2a, um, integral of a constant function over a closed and bounded interval is just equal to uh, the constant times the length of the interval. So times, uh, so 55 times 6. And this becomes 3 times 55 over uh, area is just 165 over the area. So that's great, except that we don't know what the area is yet. So, but we know what the region looks like, so we can set up the integral and find the area without too much difficulty. So the integral we want is the integral from x equals minus 3 to x equals 3 of just the difference of the two functions. So square root of 64 minus x squared minus square root of 9 minus x squared. Now if we break this into two parts, we can easily find the uh, integral of the second part, well, that's just the area of the upper semicircle of radius 3. So let's, let's split this up. So upper semicircle of radius 3 is equal to 1 half uh, times pi times the radius squared, which the radius is 3, so the radius squared is 9. But we can't do the same thing for uh, the first integral because um, we're only looking at the area between x equals minus 3 and positive 3, and the semicircle is of radius 8, so we can't just use the formula for the area of a circle. Uh, we can, however, um, use trig substitution, so if we let uh, let's see. We let theta equal inverse sine 
of x over 8. That means that um, sine of theta, uh, oh, I mean that x is equal to 8 sine theta just by applying, applying the sine function to both sides of the equation. And then dx is 8 cosine theta, d theta. All right, so now the first integral becomes the integral from, well, we want to substitute x equals uh, minus 3, so we'll have inverse sine. Well, you know, rather than making the substitutions in the limits now, so that would get a little messy. Let's just find the uh, indefinite integral, and then we'll um, evaluate, switch back to x values at the end and uh, evaluate it. So we're looking at the integral from, of the square root of 64 minus, now x squared is going to be 64 sine squared of theta. And dx is equal to 8 cosine of theta d theta. And we can factor out a square root 64. We have an 8 here, so that's 8 times 8 is 64 that we can pull outside the integral. And it leaves us with a square root of 1 minus square theta, or sine squared of theta. A square root of that times cosine of theta, d theta. Now, The Pythagorean theorem says that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So if we subtract sine squared from both sides, see that cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. So we have square root of 1 minus sine squared. So this whole term here is just cosine of theta. So this is 64 times the integral of cosine squared of theta, d theta. Now here you can either recall the formula for uh, the integral of cosine squared, or you can apply integration by parts twice. Um, I'm just going to write down the formula, or use the formula. So this is theta over 2 uh, plus 1 fourth sine of 2 theta. Now, we're really interested in evaluating this from, well, before we evaluate it, let's substitute um, theta sine, or substitute inverse sine of x over 8 for theta. This is 64 times inverse sine of x over 8 over 2 plus sine of 2 times inverse sine of x over 8 all over 4. And now this is what we want to evaluate from x equals minus 3 to x equals positive 3. And if we do that, we get um, Find that that's equal to 46.85. So if you remember, that's now the value of this integral here. So to find the area, we just need to subtract off uh, 9 pi over 2. Area is 46.85 minus 9 pi over 2, and that comes out to 32.71. So back to the original problem of finding the centroid. We know that the x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 165 divided by a or y coordinate is 165 divided by 
32.71. That's uh, approximately equal to 5.04. Oh, write the final answer to the problem. The centroid is 0 in the first coordinate and 5.04 in the second.